Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to continue with the individual readings of the groups that I started earlier this year and I just haven't really gotten around to continuing them. So in this video, as you saw with the title, we are going to go with Danielle. So New Jeans took a new song, well, took a couple of new songs and they were pretty good. I quite enjoyed both of them, but I kind of listened to Super Shy constantly. I think I enjoyed that one more. Or maybe it's because, like, the New Jeans one, like, the music video at the beginning part is just so long. And then the, the actual song is just, like, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Like, what's going on with the music industry nowadays? Why is it so short? Anyway, enough of my complaining. Let's jump into the Nails individual reading. So, in the individual readings, for those of you that may not know, we're going to check four different areas of her life, which is her current energy, her career her love life and then any healing messages that come through to start off this video let's go with her current energy to see what is going on with her right now we have the high priestess by the way i'm using the teddy tarot i don't know why i thought i should mention the card the deck that i'm using i usually don't mention it in the videos oh nice okay i know we have the devil in the middle but th this cards are not that bad what is she going through right now? We have the High Priestess, the Devil, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. There, right now, she's going through a period of her, like, third eye is opening. Like, she's becoming more aware of her subconscious thoughts or her, her inner voice or her inner calling is kind of becoming louder or she can hear it more. So there is a chance that her third eye is opening or she is just becoming more aware of how things are from a completely different perspective, from a point of view that she had not seen before. There is this sense of she's unlocking her highest potential. Uh, maybe she's encountering some fears with, with this high priestess because the high priest does talk about untouched potential. A side of ourselves that we have not fully uncovered, a part of ourselves that we're still about to like jump into and unfold it's kind of like our hidden talents or the you know there's kind of some shadow work that could be done also with this high priestess there's it, it represents the moon so it's intuition emotions even a sense of creativity it is a water card so i do feel that right now she's going through a period where her creativity is leading her to unconsciously doing some shadow work and that shadow work is opening her third eye and making her a little bit more aware of her situation from a completely different point of view and she's seeing things in such a way that she's kind of understanding the things that are not that obvious to other people she's kind of also i think she's understanding how to use her intuition or like that sit sense or listening to that gut feeling you know, those times that it's kind of like, mm, this person doesn't give me the right bios. Maybe I should not really hang out with them. And then something happens and she kind of goes like, yep, that's why. <laughs> so there is a sense of like her, I don't know why her bullshit radar came up, but it's kind of like, <laughs> she's developing one, right? She's finally figuring out like, ah, this person's lying to me or figuring out, oh, this, these are the red flags on this situation or in this person, right? There's a sense of like, she's just kind of, slowly learning how to improve her discernment and that in its change is also helping her with her own judgment um the other thing that we have here is the devil this is a capricorn energy one of the things that she's currently going through like i'm seeing the devil as her career like she is learning how society works she is learning how her career works and she is kind of becoming aware of the limitations that there are in the environment that she's in in the industry that she's in and in the society that we live in <laughs> now i'm saying it that way because the devil is supposed to represent like this sense of like feeling trapped a sense of not being able to see the truth because we're under the illusion of something the devil could also represent i was gonna say a word is coming up, but I don't really know what it means. Current, something about desire, like what we really want, our human desires. But no, another word came up. It, it's like 
if if I remember, I'll I'll mention it. But if not, let's just move on. But it's like the sense of like she's understanding hmm, people's motivations. She's understanding the limitations of the place that she's in. So she's kind of understanding if things don't unfold for whatever reason. It's just kind of how things are. So she's kind of learning how to like how to work with that. I guess the best example I can give is not taking things too personally. So if something doesn't work out is like not make, making sure that it doesn't really affect her. But the thing is that since even though the devil is a card that usually when it comes up, you should be kind of like, oof, that, 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 that's a big oofer. It is surrounded by other cards that make me think that it's not that bad, actually. Uh, and I'm saying that because the four of swords talks about someone that is calm someone that is relaxing someone that's resting it could even be someone that is in a meditative um state of mind so there is a the best way i can and also the ten of pentacles talks about someone that is doing very well for themselves is someone that is able to provide for themselves and their family and other people it is someone that is accumulating wealth to the point that it will be used in generations outside of themselves so so generational wealth of sorts so i do feel that she's doing very well and she's going to do well in the future um but the way that i'm seeing this card is like it feels like there's a journey going on here it's like her eyes were open or her she opened her eyes and she began to see things for what they were and for what they are you know again the sense of like this shadow work and then with this devil energy, is like right now she's in the place where she's finally seeing like the other side of the coin. She's finally seeing that not everything that glitters is gold or something along those lines, right? Like she's finally seeing the dark side of the soul. That's what came up. But she's seeing things for what they are. She's seeing how the intentions that people could have she's seen how there's going to be obstacles because they just will be even if it doesn't make sense it's like they there's going to always be an issue or a problem going on however in the future with this ten of pentacles and this four of swords i do feel that she's kind of learning how to use her intuition she's kind of learning maybe how to get into like this whole spiritual stuff and learning how to relax herself center herself and all of those things will bring her a lot of abundance in the future not only in her career but also with her finances and her home so i do feel like she, that she's building up for something good and she's just going through like this journey like this is big stuff because we do have two major arcana so this kind of shows that this is something that she will have to go through so that's kind of making me think that she's just growing up <laughs> you know she's just learning how to be part of society and how it can seem a little bit unfair and sometimes it can feel like it doesn't really make sense and she's just going through it and experiencing it let me put it like this so we can see the family eating because i think it's very cute but let's go on to her career and see what's going on there let's see what's going on with daniel's career we have wind with change which i mean i guess it makes sense things are constantly changing things are constantly happening let's get another oracle card wait well i will take the blackberry black mulberry with wholeness and i will take the onion card with protection now that's actually very good so so far with her career we see this sense of like things are changing for the better (laughs) Things are changing and she's feeling whole again. She's feeling like herself. She feels complete. She feels satisfied. So there's this sense of this newfound confidence, this understanding of not only her environment. I Okay. So with this devil card, I did mention that she may be seeing the ugly side of life right now. Of how society works, of how her industry works, of how people are. Like She's seeing like... The universe is showing to her how messed up the world is. I know it can sound a bit like <laughs> like, like a bummer, right? Like it may sound like, oh, that sounds so rough. Especially since she's quite young. Uh, again, she's just growing up. However, in her career, one of the changes that she's going through is just learning how despite that, or being able to see how bad 
things can get and how wrong the world can be, there's still a way to overcome that. And I think she's learning that. And in her career, the in her career, the changes that she's going through is like this journey that is almost a cycle. Like she will go through this circle. <laughs> this circle. She will go through a journey that will circle back to the beginning or where she started and she will be like a whole different person and what i mean by a whole different person is that she will have gathered so much knowledge throughout her journey that she will be able to in a way start again and what i mean start again i just mean that she will go through either a project or go through something in her career that feels very familiar but she will be such a different person because of how much she has grown how much she has learned and how much she has experienced to the point that she's able to make educated guesses make good like judgment calls and be able to take action in a way where she feels satisfied she feels confident she feels like this is who i am so she's gonna just transform it and becoming this new version of herself in her career and this wholeness makes me think that she's just learning how to honor her emotions because we do have the water elements right here and with this aquarius energy it's like she's learning how to be unique how to be herself how to do things her own way in in a way that is guided by her heart by her emotions her intuition and she's finding very creative ways of being a rebel now but what i mean by being a rebel is that i don't mean that as in like she's just creating chaos just because i'm seeing this as someone that is going against the current but is doing so because of how loyal they are to their own beliefs and their own selves as a person, as an individual. So I do feel like she's just growing up and becoming a lot more loyal to herself and understanding herself to the point where she knows how to take action, how to do things, but not at the cost of her own desires, of her own goals, of her own personality. So that's kind of, kind of what I'm seeing. Like in her career, one of the biggest changes that she's going through is learning how to manage the industry, how to work in her work (laughs) how to work in her industry as well in such a way that it's not like destroying her from the inside out uh in a way where she can genuinely be herself and that feeling that she has to put up with other people's expectations or ideas of how she should be or how she should act like there's this sense of being loyal to herself a sense of being able to very eloquently and very in a very witty way give like the middle finger to (laughs) to, like the expectations that people have of her and what i mean by this is kind of like i'm just gonna do my own thing and unapologetic i cannot even say it unapologetically be myself but it's not coming off as rude it's not coming off as disrespectful it's not coming off as even rebellious but she's rebelling okay guys (laughs) she's like just being herself so basically she's growing up that's what i'm saying and with the onion card that we have right here, we have protection. So, and also this is an earth element with this Aries energy. So, with this Aries energy, I'm getting... <laughs> okay, a couple things. So, with this Aries energy, I feel that she can start new things and um, go through this new journey. Go through this change and try all of the new things that she wants. New ideas, new ways of doing things, new ways of talking. Like, she can do whatever she wants experience whatever she wants and she will be protected in any thing that she starts the universe her spirit guides her guardian angels they're all taking care of her and they're all making sure that she's going down a stable path a stable road and that she's protected along the way because i do feel that she's going through a journey that is very valuable and she's not putting up resistance at all and therefore she's going down the right path in such a way that she's just going with the flow And that will make it easier to go through, like, the experiences that she has to go through, through the whole journey. And she will just grow and learn naturally with that. However, with this earth element, I do feel that there is a sense of stability, slow and steady. So, if she wants to try something new, she can go right ahead. She'll be protected, she'll be taken care of, and everything will be fine. Um, And it's a very stable, constant way that she can do things and she will still be taken care of and protected so how how, what is the best way i can describe this so i do feel that throughout her whole journey her spirit guides have already planned how to take care of her 
depending on whatever situation she goes through so there is a sense of like they have like backup plans for the backup plans in case something fails or in case anything comes up it's like they have programmed everything in such a way that if she encounters scenario a they have solution b right (laughs) ready in case anything happens it's like her spirit guides already made sure that the path was clear clean laid out I don't know, like, if she ever goes through something and she's like, oh, I don't know how to do this or how to do that, she will somehow meet the right person that has gone through it and will teach her the things that she has to learn. Or if there's this new experience or this new skill that she wants to learn, all of a sudden there's a class that is presented to her, like, boom, try it out. <laughs> you can you can gain those skills here. Or if you go there, you will meet the, like, the people that will help you learn what you have to learn. Like, there's a, a, a sense of, like, they have, every, they have the groundwork all laid out and ready for her to just kind of experience it. So let's just get more details about her career. Yeah, we have the Sits of Swords. It's like, just kind of like traveling, doing her thing, just l- kind of just learning, experiencing. And the Three of Wands this is actually great. <laughs> These are very good cards. So it's kind of like, this makes me think as if her garden angels are like, we'll take you down this journey. Just just be ready to learn. Be ready to experience. And this little star that the bear is holding makes me think of the star car. And that kind of shows that whatever her dreams are will come true. As long as she stays loyal to that dream that she has, to that goal, or, or whatever it is that she's holding on to that is kind of fueling her to move forward. Her spirit guides are like, continue holding on to that. So you don't lose sight of who you are, where you're headed. So there's a sense of like if she connects to her intuition, she'll be able to clearly see like, all right, this is what I'm, this is why I'm doing this. This is where I'm going. This is the reason. Like, so as long as she doesn't forget why she's doing things, it will be easier to go down her journey. And this sit sword that is surrounding that bear makes me think of, of like having the knowledge necessary for her journey. So she kind of already knows she's already gathering the knowledge necessary to go through this change and then with the three of wands there is this thing of like i always see the three of wands as outside help but in her case i do feel that in the sense of her career she's just learning not learning but she's just working on expansion she's already thinking of like this is my goal this is what i'm visualizing for my future let me start working on expanding my horizons and learning new things experiencing new things and just going down that journey to make those dreams come true make them a reality and again the three of wands i see it as external help coming in so in her case it will be probably her spiritual team making sure that she meets the right people for her journey which is wonderful now wait hold on this one now let's jump into the third section of this video which is her love life so what's going on with danielle's love life we have (laughs) this card we have rain with fecund fecundi- oh no i can't say it this time fecundity oh man it always happens that every time that word comes up i go like i draw a blank this time on how to say it but usually what it means is when i draw the blank but hold up what's going on with her love life ah so we have pansy with attraction so she's being very magnetic. But the reason why she's so magnetic right now is because of the abundance that she brings. Um, I do feel that this confidence that she's gaining for herself that it will be seen in the success of her career will also be shown in her person in such a way that will make her this big magnet that will attract will attract a lot of people towards her. There's a sense of like people will see or will just naturally feel that there is success meant for her. I, I don't know how to, how to describe this. I think it's very, it's like it's very clear to me, but I don't know if I'm making it clear to you guys who are watching this video. But with this rain, fecundity. <laughs> I was saying it like that because I genuinely forgot how to say it. Um. Anyway, but this card usually talks about abundance. It talks about, you know, this rain is supposed to symbolize how it's uh, providing for this garden to grow abundantly and being able to... 
to be successful and grow beautifully so the way that i'm seeing it for her love life is like she will just naturally attract a lot of people yes this could be romantic but i'm also getting that she will attract people that want to help her succeed um i don't know if it's her confidence or if it's just how her spiritual team has already like laid out the plan of how they want her to go down her journey and her career that people will just feel or will just know that she will be successful that she will go very high in her career or that there there's a lot of abundance and ready for her to take there's this sense of like people can just feel that she's meant for greatness in the industry i feel it's the industry i do feel that she will be very magnetic and attractive because of how much she has grown as a person and that unmovable confidence and security that she just has will make it that other people will just have to look at her because of how radiant she will be and how much she's shining so this will definitely be very good for her career i also do feel that there's this elegance that she will start portraying that people will just kind of see and be like wow there's like this wow factor um because with this attraction we have the air element in libra so i do feel like she will be very appealing to look at in the sense of like she, it's kind of like she just knows things are gonna work out and she just by looking at her people will be like why how can she be so confident or why does it feel like she knows everything like there's this charming side of her there's might be like this eloquent eloquent <laughs> the combination of eloquent and elegant that's what i wanted to say <laughs> and i just eloquent elegant they were similar enough that i somehow combined them but anyway but i do feel that this like inner knowing is what will make her very attractive to other people this sense of like she just kind of just knows things are gonna work out or like this sense of again the wholeness that we saw earlier is this sense of being so connected to herself being so aware of what her goal is and also being connected to spirit will make it in such a way that people will see this in a in a it's gonna feel very ethereal for them because i think not many people will be able to pinpoint how she's just very well aligned with her destiny and her fate and that will just make her very 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 attractive i think i i mean like i think that's why um yeah but let's get more info about her um love life so with the magician there's this sense of she will be i don't know okay so her love life is there is hints of romance here but i do feel like it's mainly people that just want to take care of her or have her under their wing there's a sense of like she just really enjoys what she because it's, it's so connected to her career because we're talking about her person so in her love life we're seeing that she's growing so much as an individual and she has a very promising future that she will naturally attract a lot of people that are very either very successful either very knowledgeable or very abundant themselves that they will bring a lot of good fortune good luck and good advice for her own success in the future that's what i'm seeing with this magician like she will just attract a lot of people that are also meant for greatness or have already reached some sort of big milestone or big goals that they will able to kind of that their good luck will like rub off on her as well that's kind of what i'm getting or like their knowledge will kind of trickle down to her and she will be able to kind of get those pieces for her own success either knowledge advice a good word because i'm getting like there will be some people that will be like oh this kid has a great future ahead of them and because of that it makes other people look in her direction and be like if that's the case maybe we should keep out an eye on her and in such a way there will be projects projects coming in because they have you know there's people already being like oh we should 
offer something to her since she has a promising future because so and so said right like there's this sense of like people will put in a good word even if they have never met her even if they have never interacted with her it's just like this kid has something so keep an eye out and be ready to um, offer a good project to this kid and your project will be successful is that kind of vibe the other card that we have right here is the knight of swords reverse i do feel that if anything the only warning is for her to not get ahead of herself because again with all of this abundance that she's bringing in she will attract some people that just want to take advantage of it um you know it's kind of like oh she has a lot of good luck and a lot of good fortune coming her way i want to be there and try to get some good fortune as well and maybe they don't care about her so i do feel this is a sense of like I'm not too worried about that because we saw earlier that she's kind of already seen and being able to have very good discernment of seeing these red flags on people as well. So I do feel that she will have very good intuition and she's divinely protected anyway. So unless she has to learn something from these people, she will just be able to see right away, oh, this person is not, is not here for my, you know, they don't have good intentions or they don't... It, this is just superficial so i should not get too close to them i do feel that she will be aware of those things so i do feel she will be very cautious going forward but if not this is the advice of be cautious when going forward and meeting new people so let's go into the last section of her reading which is her healing messages so let's see what healing messages come through for danielle's reading So we have a koi fish spirit with there is always enough. Again, being extremely abundant. Also, all of this green makes me think of the heart chakra. So as long as she's happy, as long as she's following her heart and just being very content, you know, doing things from a pure place, doing things with honesty, being sincere and genuine and just kind of also connecting to her inner child, it will bring her not only a lot of happiness, but also a lot of abundance. And with there is always enough, I do feel that she should not feel bad. Um, I, I'm i saying this again. I was going to say again, because I do feel that I've, I mentioned something similar when this koi fish spirit came up. There's this sense of like she should not feel guilty of the abundance that she's getting because what's meant for her is meant for her and nobody else. So she shouldn't feel guilty and be like, oh... I took away this opportunity from this other person or, oh, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve that. There's a sense of like, don't feel guilty and you're worth it. So where this thing where there is always enough is like, she doesn't have to feel bad about her abundance, her good luck, her destiny, her fate, because there is enough for other people as well. So she doesn't have to feel like, oh, she's just taking away from everyone. She's not. So again, no guilt. Just take what life is giving you that kind of thing the other card that we have right here is a nightingale spirit with love is all around so again i do feel that she may be connecting with her soul family as well um because with a nightingale i thought of a couple of things i was thinking of i think it's called gale of song um from the bell movie and that one always makes me think of someone that is kind of like singing, trying to connect to other people. But also with this nightgale, I was thinking of the nightgale in the wild, unknown, spiritual, and what is it called? The wild, unknown, spiritual, animal oracle. And, and that one is like a nightingale that is on top of a moon singing. And to me, that always feels like trying to connect through music with other people. So I do feel that love is all around kind of shows that she will be surrounded by her spiritual team, by her, like, by people that support her that will feel like family. So again, soul family, soul tribe. I think she's connecting to them because of how brightly, she's shining very brightly because she's so aligned with herself and her path and her journey to such a way that she will be easily recognizable to the other members of her soul family. So I do feel that she will be connecting to those people people that were meant to help her and she was meant to help them as well okay last healing message we have the turtle you know what I, I had a feeling that the turtle was going to come up uh so we have the turtle spirit reverse with slow down 
<laughs> slow down slow and steady wins the race but it's reverse i do feel that one of the things that she might encounter is that feeling where she kind of knows that she's meant for greatness or she knows that things are gonna go out well for her but then she may kind of get a bit impatient when she's going down the journey because it's like wait i know a lot of good things are coming for me you know th there's a lot of good things meant for me where are they or what's happening so when there's moments of silence or moments of stagnation she may lose her cool a little bit because she'll be like i know that things are gonna get better but when are they gonna get better which i think is just a natural process of um going through you know being intuitive and connecting to to like her spiritual side the moment that happens you kind of go like i'm getting these messages of like good things happening or, or bad things that is going to happen or a warning or whatever but then it's kind of like the timing is always an issue because us as humans we have time and our perception of it revolves around the sun but our spiritual team and our higher selves well they're not on earth and they don't have to deal with the time that we deal with because well their world doesn't revolve around the sun like the way that it does to us so when it whenever it comes to timing unless her spiritual team is very aware of how things work on earth it's going to be very hard to tell her oh it's going to happen this way or that way because sometimes it's just like when situation a b and c happen then the thing that we told you about may may get triggered and may happen so it's kind of like heh. she's just gonna learn how um timing and messages from the universe work and it may take her a while to kind of understand that just because she has been told that something's going to happen it doesn't mean it's gonna happen now it doesn't mean it's gonna happen soon and it doesn't mean that she will know when it's going to happen when it's about to happen like i hope i didn't confuse you guys but it's kind of like just this thing so like just take things nice and slow and allow things to just kind of happen to not fret to not worry also there's this thing of like she shouldn't feel like she like her timing is off or feel like she is going slower than other people or going faster than other people in her journey to like not compare herself to other people and be like oh at this age they were this successful at this age this happened or i thought i was going to achieve this by this age it's like do not get too hung up on those things Anyway, I hope you guys like this reading. I hope you guys like this video. I thought it was very, very interesting to read for the nail because I didn't really expect her to already be in this stage of just growing up. And the, I guess not the confidence, but the straightforwardness of her messages was what amazed me a lot as well. It's kind of like she's vibing in a level that I can get in, you know, like I understand it. it makes sense. And she's also in such a good energy right now that that's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Whenever that is, however that is. Thank you for all the love and support. And love and healing from my part to you. I'll see you in the next one.